Welcome to my video on multiplying large numbers. Let's get started right away. Here we have 321 being multiplied by 57. And the basic idea is to multiply all of the numbers on the bottom with all of the numbers on top. So let me show you what I mean by this. We always start with a number on the bottom right. So we'll start with this number 7. And we need to multiply this number 7 with all of the numbers on the top. So we start with the number 1. 7 multiplied by 1 is equal to 7. So in the first column, we have the number 7. And we need to repeat this process as much as possible. Now we need to multiply the 7 times the next number on top, times the number 2. 7 times 2 is equal to 14. However, there's only enough room for one digit. So we need to take the number 1 and we need to carry it over to the next number on top. So I'm going to put this 1 on top of the number 3. And now we are ready to continue the process. And now we need to multiply the 7 times the last number on top, times the 3. 7 times 3 is equal to 21. Plus, we need to add this 1 being carried over. So 21 plus 1 is equal to 22. So in the last column, we put the number 22. And this time we do have enough space for two digits because there is no numbers left on top to be multiplied. So now let's do the same exact thing with the other number on the bottom, the number 5. We need to multiply this number 5 with all of the numbers on top. So one thing you should keep in mind is to recognize that the 5 is in the tens place. Uh, because this 5 is in the tens place, that means we need to start in the tens place. So I'm going to put a 0 in the ones column, which means we're going to start in the tens column. And now we are ready to start multiplying. First we have to multiply this 5 with the 1. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. And there's only one digit, so there's no need to carry over. And now we can multiply this 5 with the 2. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. And this time there is two digits and there's only enough space for one. So we need to take the digit on the left, this number 1, and carry it over and put it on top of the next number on the left. So now we are ready to multiply this 5 times the 3. 5 times 3 is equal to 15 plus we need to add the 1 that's being carried over. 15 plus 1 is equal to 16. So in the last column we can put the number 16 and this time there is enough space for two digits because there's no numbers on top left to be multiplied. So now we have multiplied every number on the bottom with every number on the top. And the only thing left to do is to add our two answers together. So I'm going to put a line underneath our two answers with a little plus sign to show that we're adding them. And if we start on the right, we need to add 7 plus 0. 7 plus 0 is equal to 7. Then we have 4 plus 5. 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. Then we have 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. And on the left we just have the number 1. So that stays the same. So our final answer is 18,297. I encourage you to check your answer with the calculator just to make sure we didn't make a careless mistake. But let's move on to an even harder example. So here in this example we have 972 being multiplied by 538. And just like before, we want to multiply all the numbers on the bottom with all of the numbers on the top. So we always start with the number in the bottom right. So we'll start with this number 8. And first we need to multiply this number 8 by this number 2. So 8 times 2 is equal to 16. So in the first column we have the number 16, but there's only enough space for one digit. So the 1 I'm going to carry over to the next column. And now we are ready to multiply 8 times 7. 8 times 7 is 56, plus we need to add this 1 being carried over. 56 plus 1 is equal to 57. So I'm going to put 57 in this column, but there's only enough space for one digit. So the 7 goes there, and the 5 gets carried over to the next column. 
Now we are ready to multiply 8 times 9. 8 times 9 is equal to 72. 72 plus this 5 being carried over is equal to 77. So in the next column we have the number 77 and there is enough space for two digits because there's no numbers left on top to multiply. And now we are ready to multiply this next number on the bottom, this number 3. And this 3 is in the tens place, so we can't forget that we need to start in the tens place. So I'm going to put number 0 in the ones place, just so we don't forget that we need to start in the tens column. So now we can multiply this 3 times the 2. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So we put a 6 in this column, and there's only one digit, so we don't need to carry over. And now we can multiply this 3 times the 7. 3 times 7 is equal to 21. So here we have 21, but there's only enough space for one digit, so we need to carry the 2 over to the next column. And now we can multiply the 3 times 9. 3 times 9 is equal to 27 plus the 2 that's being carried over. 27 plus 2 is equal to 29. And now there is enough space for two digits because there's no numbers left on top to multiply. And now we are ready to multiply this last number on the bottom. Now don't forget this number is in the hundreds place, so that means we need to start in the hundreds place. So I'm going to put a zero in the ones column, I'm going to put a zero in the ton tens column, um, so now we can start in the hundreds column. So now we can multiply five times two, 5 times 2 is equal to 10, so I'm going to put 10 in this column, but there's only enough space for one digit, so I'm going to carry the 1 over to the next column. So we have 5 being multiplied times 7, 5 times 7 is equal to 35, 35 plus the 1 being carried over is equal to 36. So once again we only have enough space for one digit, so I'm going to put the 6 and carry over the 3, now we can multiply 5 times 9. 5 times 9 is equal to 45. 45 plus the 3 being carried over is equal to 48. And now there is enough space for two digits since there's no numbers left on top to multiply. So now we have multiplied every number on the bottom with every number on the top. And the only thing left to do is add all of our answers together. So I'm going to put a line underneath all of our answers and we need to put a plus sign to show that we're adding. And if we start on the right we have 6 plus 0 plus 0 which is just 6. Then we have 7 plus 6 which is 13. We need to carry the 1. We have 1 plus 7 which is 8. 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. If we move one column to the left, we have 7 plus 9, which is 16. 16 plus 6 is equal to 22. Carry over the 2. Now we have 2 plus 2, which is 4. 4 plus 8, which is equal to 12. Carry over the 1. And we have 1 plus 4, which is equal to 5. So this is our final answer. 522,936. So I hope this video gave you a better idea on how to multiply large numbers. I also have videos on how to multiply decimals, how to multiply fractions, dividing decimals, and some basic division problems as well. The links for all of these videos are in the screen in the boxes. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see all my new videos, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next one.